Hey guys, if you guys have been watching my video, you guys already know who I am, but I'm going to say it one more time. My name is Jonna C. Morris. I'm your K-2 teacher for the next two months. It's the 1st of July to the end of June. Or wait, it's the 1st of June to the end of July. I'm so excited to be teaching you guys once again. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to do this really fun caterpillar activity. And I've actually never done this before, so it's going to be my first time doing it with you guys. But it's really fun. All you're going to need is like a few supplies, nothing too drastic. We're going to be very chill today. So I'm going to go ahead and put the materials list up on the screen and then I'm going to show you what we need. Hi guys. So for today's activity, we're going to need paper, markers, scissors, and please ask your parents if you're allowed to use them once again, and a straw. So I've got all my materials laid out here. And so what I decided to do to make sure I got the perfect little rectangle, I folded it and then I cut it out. And then what I did was I folded the rectangle in half and then folded that in half and then repeated that until I got eight even pieces. You can see me here doing the last couple pieces. So you can count here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then what I decided to do to make it easier to cut, I rolled it all up so they were all folded together so that I had one little tiny rectangle. And then I rounded out the edges. So that's basically just doing like a half circle on the edge of the rectangle. And I did that on both sides. And then I fumbled with the scissors a little bit. So then after unfolding it, you can see that you've got eight pieces and they're all a little rounded. And then I decided to crease them just a little bit better so they really stuck and they really were bent. And then I took the end two creases and I folded them the opposite way. That way it could sit on a table properly. And that's what it's going to look like afterwards. So then I was like, well, you know, I should make the head a little bit more round so it looks more like a caterpillar head. So then I just rounded the, the head and the tail both out just to make them look a little bit more finished and pretty. And then I took a gray marker because once again, I cannot find my black marker. It'll be a day whenever we can find it. And I just drew two eyes. Oh, and then there's my cat Meowsers. She came to say hi. And I finished making my eyes and then I drew a mouth with a pink marker. So a fun fact about a caterpillar is that it actually only has one job to do while it's while the butterfly is still a caterpillar. So all it has to do is eat. That's its only job. Its only job is to eat, 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 eat. So yeah, that's a fun fact about caterpillars for today. It's all come down to this. Now we are at our final race of the two caterpillars. As you can see at the end, I made a little finish sign. It's kind of hard to see because I forgot to color it in. And I made my dad make one as well so he could race me. So he lined them up. Uh, so we lined them up on the edge of the table. And then we got our straws and we got ready. And then we go, three, two, one, go. And we started blowing. And then he was kind of beating me. And I got mad. So I kind of cheated just a little bit. And I blew really, really hard. And I won. <laughs> Yay. Hey, guys. So you probably know what I'm going to say already. But I'm going to talk about our Spotlight program. So each week, one special kid will be featured on our Facebook page. And all you need to do to be featured on our Facebook page is to send us a picture of you doing the activity, your name, where you're from, how old you are, and then whatever other information you want to include. And you can do that one of two ways. The first way that you can do it is that you can go to our Facebook page, click the Message Us button, and then send us all the information that I said. Or you can get your parents to make a Facebook post on their Facebook, tag Pixel Chicks in it. We will see it and you'll be entered in to probably be featured on our Facebook page. I'm so excited that you guys might be doing this and I hope to see one of my K32 students on there. Hey guys, so I'm so proud of you guys for making your caterpillar activity today. I think it was really fun and it actually turned out a lot better than I was hoping that it would be. So I hope you guys had fun and I hope to see you again. Bye.